Okay, let's call a meeting to uh, order. Recording in progress. Can we have a roll call, please? Mr. Genuso? Here. Mrs. Rogers? Here. Mrs. Barnes? Here. Mrs. Barney? Here. Mr. Roach? Here. Shanna Dury? Okay. Uh, um, it's, I didn't hear Christine. Is she there? I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I just want to remind everybody to please speak into the microphone because if not, Aaron and I are going to have an awful hard time hearing you. Uh, so Larry, uh, you or Kevin, I'm not sure who's going to do this, but please explain to the board all of the issues that have occurred on the Lawrence project since our last meeting and uh, your suggestions and recommendations of, of how to proceed. Okay, so since we met on October 18th, we've been in contact with PennBest and DEP. Um, we discussed the project, awarding the project, um, the changes were made on the rebid for the plant contract. Uh, one of the outcomes there was DEP is requiring an amendment to the permit. Um, it is a short amendment, so it's a 15-day advertisement period instead of a full 30 days. It takes one week to get it into the uh, Pennsylvania Bulletin to advertise it. We already submitted that permit amendment within a couple of days of them telling us what we needed to submit it. So that's been filed. Um, so that puts, the soonest we'll see the permit amendment would be November 21st. And the department's working with us to expedite it, um, but we'll get into the issues on the contract here in a minute. Um, and that permit was filed yesterday. Uh, so the on the funding increase, so that letter of responsibility, and that is on the agenda tonight to uh, ratify the letter that was submitted requesting. So if you recall, last month we had talked, there was the $4 million shortfall on the original PennVest application and the additional loan amount based on the bids received for the plant and the uh, sewer system. That was submitted to PennVest, and that will be acted on at the PennVest January board meeting. So the $4 million, we won't know until January when PennVest meets. On the letter no prejudice, um, we did file the resolution that was authorized at the last meeting, but PennVest did come back. They wanted, they have changes to the resolution. If you want to file the, the letter no prejudice, or they call it the pre-closing letter resolution, uh, which is the reimbursement resolution, and it's revised per the PennVest comments, to list the total project amount which is the $18,021,723, and to list that, uh, that the funding recipient intends to pay project costs on an interim basis using its general funds until it proceeds as the PennVest debt obligation are received. Um, PennVest also would, is requiring a copy of your latest bank statement to show how much is in the general fund as uh, I'm trying to think what the term was, but to, to verify that the fund there are funds there to cover these this interim payments. So that's the first item of the letter, no prejudice. Second item, PennVest has also advised because of this permit amendment, they need pen they need DEP approval before they can mm -hmm. approve a letter, no prejudice. Um, so the DEP is advised that the sanitary sewer portion can be approved, but the plant portion cannot be approved until the permit amendments received. Um, they did review it internally with their chief counsel. If you did receive a copy of my email discussion this morning, that that still stands that they could do. The, the three options were the proceeding on award of the collection system, and then postponing award until such time that the permit amendment's received and then they can fully approve the letter of no prejudice. So they'd approve a partial letter of no prejudice, then approve the full later, but there's the risk there because of the permit um, and when you could actually award the plant contract and having a complete project. Uh, uh, Larry, could mm -hmm. you put that in English first? If I think what you're saying is we could, we could award the sewers, is that correct? without this amendment or letter of prejudice or whatever you well, want to call it. We, we, need, we need to submit the resolution and then they'd have to partially approve the letter of no prejudice first. So we wouldn't be able to do it tonight. 
um, because they did reject the original resolution uh, once they reviewed it with their legal recommended wording did come from the specialist but then they did come back and they say it had to be changed um, but they would have to approve that first partially approve that first so we wouldn't be able to award tonight until they we resubmit the resolution resubmit the letter of no prejudice and then they could okay. we could do an award. and and so i understand this is on the sewers only sewers only yes okay well the letter of no prejudice will be submitted for the total project and they yes. would partially approve it and then the second right. half would be held until the permit amendments received and then they did the full approval okay now can you bring us up to date as to what our time limitations are for awarding the um, each each contract? Well, you know, we we have time time restraints on both of those, right? Right. So on the collect on the collection system contract, it was written in the advertisement that you had 90 days to award or up to 120 days if there's a issue with a governmental agency approval, which would be Penvest or DEP. So the 90 days is November 11th, uh, 120 days would be December 10th for the collection system. The okay, so we have, we have until December 10th on the collection system. Correct. Is that correct? Yes. Because we do have these issues with, with DEP. Correct. Okay. With Penbest. Okay. With Penbest. The issues with and the, Pen. Yeah. 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 Okay. Then on the treatment. Now, I'm sorry. Go on ahead. Penvest, what's the issues? The letter, no prejudice, getting that the partial approval or the full approval. Okay. Yeah. And and that's that's all we have with Penvest. Oh, on, on the plant, we have limitations on, on, the, on the plant as far as approving the contract. Correct, correct. So the deadline to award on the plant, the contractor did grant an extension to November 11th to award that contract. That's what we have currently. I Say that again? Till November 11th on the treatment plant. Okay. I did request an extension if he would be willing to hold his price till December 10th, similar to the collection system. And remember, we bid that for the treatment plant contract to save money because of the supply chain equipment material issues to lock in a better price. Correct. Um, he countered, he requested a letter of intent to award so he can begin to place orders for materials to lock in prices. That's to extend it to December. December. Right, but we but we actually have uh, we actually have until November eleventh to make a decision on a treatment plan. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. Okay. So uh, continue. I'm sorry. That's all right. Um. So the the first option I talked about was the partial letter no prejudice approval process, which has its risks. The second one would be awarding both contracts after full appro approval of letter no prejudice, which would be likely December 10th. Um, so it would be prior to the PenVest award of, or consideration board meeting on the additional $4 million request. Um, it would be after you receive the permit amendment. Um, it would be contingent on the contractor for the treatment plan accepting that extension. Um, okay. And there's also, and then the third option would be rejecting all bids and rebidding. And in terms of schedule, we would recommend a rebid in January, open in February. That way it's after the PenVest board meeting, you'd know where you are with the money. One other thing that came up this week, uh, EPA has reached out on the $1 million Casey grant. Um, so now we can include that in the bid because we're going to have a meeting with them in the next week of what requirements red tape we would need to put in the contract for that because right now we do not have that. Um, okay. 
and you so have, what do you what, and you'd have your permit go ahead amendment. continue yeah what, what's your recommendation our recommendation would be to reject all bids and rebid so we can get through this permitting process go through the penvest board meeting and also get the casey requirements built into the contracts okay now if um If we rebid in January, and let's just say the bids come in higher again, and we'd have to go back to Penn, we'd be back in that same loop again as far as asking PennVest for an increase. Is that correct? Uh, yes, that is the risk. Yeah. With with that alternative. Now, what, what we don't know is, and we haven't had time to analyze is, assuming a worst, I guess the worst case scenario would be that the authority got stuck for the $4 million, PennVest would turn us down. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, and what we haven't had time to figure out is what our options would be to finance that four million dollars no nobody you haven't had a chance to do an analysis have you no no that's correct okay um i'm i'm gonna sit maybe i'm jumping do any of the other board members have any questions <clears throat> yes i do if we turned down and had send everything back for a rebid, what happens if these, like I'm understanding you're saying, if the prices come back much higher than they are right now, where do we go from there? <clears throat> Larry, you want to answer that? And then the process would be where we are today. If you go back to PenVest for more money or borrowing, uh, we do, I think the $1 million from Casey could then be used also because that'll be built in to the specifications. As we sit here today, I don't know if we can use that $1 million because of they, they didn't get the information out. So we, we will have the information. Um, but yes, that, that is the risk if, it, if we rebid. And Larry, is it, isn't the $1 million from Casey already built into our financing? It's not built into the, uh, it's not built into your PenVest loan package now, no. It would be in addition to that. So it would come off either your local share or if you wanted to reduce your loan load. My guess is that the stipulations from EPA that are associated with that will drive the price up some because it's, they're gonna require something more. I, I don't know that it would be a big amount because I don't know what it is. Right, the one provision we were aware of is called uh, Build America, Buy America Act. That was already put in the treatment plan contract. Okay. So that's already in there because we knew about that one and we knew that was gonna be part of that grant. What we did not know about is the uh, DBE requirements and what the procedure was gonna be. Um, and if there's anything additional, but we did in case things lined up correctly, we did put the, the yeah, build the America by America act in yeah. there, you know, so that is built into the treatment plant contract. It's not in the collection system, but it's in the plant contract. So we could potentially, depending where they end up with the final requirements, we might be okay, but I don't know. I, I really don't. So you mean it might not be able to be used at all for this project? That's a possibility. Yes. Because if it has like the MBWB, you'd have to make sure that those bid requirements were met. Correct. Right. Okay. Right. I right. got you. And if it's a good faith effort or if there's a firm requirement, percentage requirement. And we reach out to EPA many times and we finally got a hold of the right, the right person contacted Mike and we have a meeting set up to go over it. So. So that extra million might have to be added into the PenVest package because we might need that extra million from PenVest if we can't use the grant. Well, you can use it to offset one of the million. You're going back to PenVest or offset your local share. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Yep. Okay. 
So if we tabled this until our regular meeting on the, I think it's the 15th, um, how much more information would we have to make a decision here? And I think the only thing that falls in between there is that plant award requirement by uh, November 11th, unless we did the letter of intent to award, which is kind of risky at this point too, right? Would we have much more information from you to make a better decision by the 15th? We would have the meeting with uh, EPA on the $1 million Casey loan, the grant, sorry, that we would know, the I, I would hope we know the requirements there and where we stand on your current bids. Um, in terms of PenVest, so we would have to submit, you would, tonight you'd wanna adopt the resolution and submit the letter, no prejudice. So we may have an answer back well, it would be in process. The other the other item I would know more about would be talking to DEP on the permit review. Because we do anticipate it will be advertised at that time um, with the information we send. So the question is if they need additional information or if they have additional comments that we'll need to talk about. What, what issues do you expect from, from DEP on this permit? I thought it was just a matter of, you know, bureaucratic following the rules kind of thing. And they, they had me submit just what changed. So I did submit limited documents just showing the change in the treatment process equipment, some of the drawings. I didn't submit a full set, what they requested to help them with an expedited review. Um, I don't anticipate any questions. It's just a different way of doing things with them. Um, if they request additional information would be... And they have, they're so limited in their staff right now. Mm -hmm. I, I even submitted red lines of the original design engineer's report showing what was struck out and what's new to make it clear, help them, help them to expedite it as much as possible. Yeah. But if we go through the rebid, we're not going to rebid this project until late January. Is that correct? If we waited for the PenVest board meeting, I think the PenVest board meets after your January meeting. It's the third Wednesday in January, yes. So it'll be the day after. Um, right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Larry, can you hear me? Yes. Um, this is Kevin. Sorry, everybody, I couldn't make it tonight. But uh, um, on, on the bids, Dawn and I talked earlier, I mean, it's a 50 50 split on whether bids are come in higher or lower. Um, I think we talked at the last regular meeting, you know, my gut then was that prices may continue to inch up but um, I think the economy is leaning towards work getting a little less for some of these guys. So, um, I mean, we, we have a contract out right now, a line work contract uh, for stormwater. If I got three bids, I was happy four months ago. Uh, we got 10 people picked up and it looked like they're in a dog fight already for it. So um, I, I think it's 50 50, but it's leaning towards you probably get some better bids on, the, on at least the line work. Um, the plant work may inch up a little bit, but we already seen the big increase. So the, the increase should not be substantial if there is any. So um so i think there's a risk there but um i think it's less than than what we would have experienced two months ago kevin what i'm trying to establish is how much time are we going to lose here um I mean, you would i mean you would award, you would award at your february meeting and then uh, we would set closing with invest the same time it would have been anyway so And that's, that's why my, yeah. but that's assuming the bids come in pretty close, close. to our, yeah. Yes. If they if they come in, you know, a couple million higher or whatever, then we're we're back in the loop again, going back to Penvest again, right? We're the same chasing our tail. Because then we'd have uh, to yeah. wait for the 
we'd have to wait for their March meeting to approve the next one and so forth. Is that correct? Yeah, the timing would be better on the rebid because we wouldn't have this lag. We were off by about a month. The next next time, if we had an issue, um, it, the timing would work out better. I mean, the other thing we could do is ask for the hedge our bets, uh, ask for another million right now, just so we have a little safeguard built in. That way we don't have to get back to another meeting. Okay. Let me go back to um, if what can, what if we deferred making a decision tonight until we could figure I mean the, the worst the worst case scenario, if my understanding is we have four million dollars that we could possibly be responsible for the authority could be responsible for is that correct Kevin yeah okay. is it so if, if we you know looked into bond financing and and whatever options were might be available financially to to uh, cover that four million dollars we could still possibly award these contracts. Is that correct? Yeah, after DP issued a permit, if the contractor extended his bid through, um, I think we need till around December 10th to get a, the letter from uh, of no prejudice and get the DEP permit, you could award in uh, the contracts in mid-December. Okay, now who, we, we have until December 10th now on, on, the, um, on the source, is that correct? Yeah, we had till the, the November 11th, but there is a provision that if you have financing issues like this, you get another 30 days to work it out. So we, we've invoked that. So his contract doesn't need awarded till December 10th. But Mealy's contract, we need something from him to extend um, another 30 days. If we do this. And he wants, he wants that him. letter. And that makes me very uncomfortable, the letter. I mean, I, if all this money was sitting here, uh, it would be different. That letter, we've seen that issue before. But with PenVest being a question mark, then that's more of a issue, I believe. So. If we, if we do follow that, do we risk losing the million dollar Casey grant because it may not follow the EPA requirements? Could. Could. We, uh, um, until we have this call uh, this week, we won't know what they're thinking. And, and obviously we're gonna ask that question first, but I think um, it makes it much, much cleaner if, if we're in, in a rebid situation instead of working through. If you want to work through that, uh, we will put every effort to get that, that in the mix. So, Because that could help that's gonna, set the cost. And that's going to be, that's going to be on the uh, um, plant contract as well. So, Okay. I'm still not understanding what's our drop dead date right now on the plant contract. Is it November 11th? It's November 11th as we stand today. Yes. And that's without giving him the letter of intent. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. When is your call? Um, when, uh, yeah, with the EP and everything, when's, when's that all happen? What's the timing on that? Well, the call with EPA on the grant, I need to get with Mike. Um, it's – 
you know what? He was pushing it two weeks out. I'm going to try to push for an earlier meeting. He was the day – it was the 14th, 15th, or 16th. I'll see if he has a day available soon. Try next, try next <coughs> I, could, I couldn't remember off the top of my head what was sent over, but I thought it was towards the middle of the month or towards the end of the month. But you're saying right now we don't have the EPA money figured in the financing for Lawrence as, as it is. Is that correct? It, it was not included in the PennVest application, no. So, theoretically, if everything stayed the same and we got the $1 million, we could, only, we could actually only need $3 million from uh, PennVest. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Or it could cover an overrun if there's yeah. a rebid. Yeah. Um, what I what I'm what I'm trying to do, guys, and, and I don't know if you can help me with this. I'd like to kick this can down the road till till like ne next week. I don't particularly like these special meetings and 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 have them put everybody at at. Uh, you know, taking advantage of their time, which I appreciate the time they did donate already, but uh, this would, that would give us time to figure out if PennVest, for whatever reason, did turn us down, how would we finance that $4 million? And we could look into options on financing that money and what it would do to our rates and our customers. And then, then we could better in, analyze whether uh, we want to take a risk on that scenario or not. Kevin and uh, Larry, are you understanding what I'm saying? Yep. Do you see any reason why we can't do that? As long as we get back to uh, Mealy before November 11th, we're still okay, is that correct? Yes. Yep. <clears throat> Can can you can you guys what what do we have to do to look into uh, financing? We have to get a hold of um, um, Sean Garen. Sean Garen. Chris, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, Sean would be the would be able to advise you on on the financial aspects. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and then. Um, the, the, the primary issue here, from what I, what I was understanding on the phone today, is that PennVest has told us that the $4 million increase is not a slam dunk with them. Is that correct? Correct. It was, it was not guaranteed. Yep. That, that, all right. So at, is, is, am, I, am I understanding this correctly that the four million is really what, what the issue is here? Yes. Okay. Do any of the other board members have any questions? All right, so I would suggest to, to the board that we hold another special meeting next week, and in the interim, we get we'll get a hold of Sean Garen and find out find out if we are stuck with that four million dollars, how can we how can we finance it, and and you know what what, what risk we're taking. I don't think there's any okay? harm with that proposal. Uh, go, go ahead, Roseanne. I don't think there's any harm with your proposal. I, I think that way we've explored those options before the deadline. Get a better feel. That would be before November 11th, correct? Yep. Yeah. That's correct. We'd have, we'd have to have, we'd have, to have it next week. Because that is mm -hmm. November 11th to award Millie right. at the last bid yes. that he came in at. 
Now, the other question is, uh, let's say we have solved the financing problem. What other roadblocks, if any, are there to awarding the, the treatment plan contract uh, at, in, time, in this no, no, November 11th time frame? Is there anything else, any other roadblocks to doing that? Uh, you would not have the, well, for PennVest, it would be the letter no prejudice, which would be held until the permit amendment would be approved. Does that hold up the entire money for the whole project or just this $4 million? And we're going to need the uh, letter of no prejudice before any award. So if we want award until December, we would just have additional information for everybody next week in order to make a decision if you're rejecting or holding until December. Holding until December requires the letter of intent to award though, correct? Yes, correct. And we can talk to him more about that this week and indicate that that's got a lot of adjective with it. Um, would he extend without that and see what he says? Okay. So if he says, if he says absolutely not, then we, we know there's a line in the sand then for him. So. Okay. I mean, you need to explain to him all these other issues, you know, with, yep. with uh, DEP and, and PenVest and everything, you know, hopefully he can work with, if not, it, the rebid isn't going to be exactly something in his favor either. No. No, that's what we will explain to them that there's there's a heavy consideration for for rebid. So let's see what he says. Okay. Um, all right. So we we can wait till sometime next week. Then is that is that my is that we're in agreement, Kevin and Larry? Yes. Okay. Do you need, do you so need any motions, though? Dennis, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just asking if they needed any motions tonight, though. Well, two of the motions were to resubmit the letter, no prejudice, which I would say that's based on the discussion tonight, we'll be holding on that. Um, so to, I think the answer what Chris is saying, um, the item number three on the agenda and item number four on the agenda are tabled then. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, um, okay. And when I get to the end of the end of the, the the other items on the agenda, we'll we'll uh, um, pick a, a time next week for uh, another special meeting. Okay. Okay. So, item number five: uh, the motion to approve the letter of responsibility for PenVest funding application. Does that need any further explanation? That was somebody want to make. I'm sorry. That was the four million dollar request for the additional funding at the January board meeting. Uh, so that'd be to ratify uh, the letter that was submitted requesting an additional four million to PenVest. Okay. Somebody want to make that motion? I'll make that motion. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay, go ahead. Roll call vote, please. Mr. Genuso? Aye. Mrs. Rogers? Aye. Mrs. Barnes? Aye. Mrs. Barney? Aye. Mr. Roach? Aye. Okay. Then item number six motion to, uh, for a resolution to PenVest. This is reimbursement resolution revised per pen best comments. It's a table. I'm I, sorry, I heard tabled or what? Um, this is part of the letter no prejudice, so I think this would be tabled until you make a decision if you want to proceed with the letter no prejudice with the contract awards. So that in, yeah, yes. Yes, what? Table it. Table it. Okay, so I motion item number six will be, be tabled. 
And number seven? Same. Table. Same. We, we table that as well. So we can't act on those and, and, until when? And you can you can act on six and seven tonight. That's a decision. You're submitting the letter no prejudice to proceed with contract award. Um, okay, so we can just do that at the at the next uh, meeting. Should we decide to proceed? Is that correct? Correct. Correct. With, okay, so we'll ta we'll table those along with items three and four. Then will they do act that fast? Yes, yes. Okay. They said it would take one to two weeks to approve it. Okay. Yes. And they've already reviewed it with legal. That These are the final changes they're asking for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we need to um, pick a day next week for another uh, emergency meeting. Mr. I'm Chairman. open, so anybody tell me what day. I think Tuesday's not a good day. It's election day. Correct. That's a bad I have uh, the Wednesday the 9th, Thursday the 10th. Uh, this room's available. Either day is fine for me. Anybody else have any comments to issues, delays, can't make it? 10th is best for me, Thursday. The 10th? The 10th the yeah. would work. 11 10 at 6 6 30 6 30 6 30 6 30 would be better for me okay at 6 30 so the next meeting emergency meeting is going to be on uh, our special meeting is going to be on november 10th at 6 30 and um in the interim uh chris you can contact um Sean, or Sean, and and we can discuss. <coughs> I will have to we'll have to do a, a conference call, whatever, discuss financing operations and uh, or uh, possibilities, and then somehow we'll have to get an email out to the rest of the board members, I guess. Okay, I'll set that up, Don. And I don't know. I, I guess two of us would be allowed to sit in on it. If one of the other board members wants to sit in on it, let me know, and we can. Uh, include one other board member in on the on the discussions aaron roseanne craig i don't know whoever's available i don't know when it's going to be so yeah let's find out availability but roseanne i think you're best suited to knowing and understanding the issues challenges I, i'd be happy to um be involved in that. I just need to know when it would be scheduled. To okay, I'll find. I mean, okay. Sean's, pro Sean's generally pretty available. Is there any days that work better for you? Times like morning, afternoon, dawn? Uh, I can tell you Mondays and Wednesdays are bad for me. Okay, Monday, Wednesday. But other than that, um, Thursday, this Thursday or Friday would be okay. Uh, let me hold on a sec. Wait. Um, uh, I, I'm pretty sure they are. It's Let me look. For me. Um, Thursday's a busy day during the day for me. Mm -hmm. I've got meetings all day, 8 to 4. Okay, how about Friday? I can make Friday work. Okay. Okay, shoot for, shoot for something after 10 o'clock on Friday. Okay. I'll set that up and I'll email you too. Okay. Okay. And uh, Mike, uh, you and or Shanna should be included on that call. Yep. Okay. Can do that. Okay. Any other comments, questions from anybody? Somebody want to make a motion for adjournment? I'll make that motion. I'll second that motion. Okay. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Don. Bye-bye. Recording Thank stopped. You.